Ukrainian defenders not only know how to fight, but they also have a very good sense of humor. This is evidenced by the video that appeared on the internet. In the video, Ukrainian servicemen parody Prigozhin, who at one time constantly demanded shells from the Wagner Group, from Shoigu and Gerasimov, the Ukraine 365 channel reports. Recall in May of last year, Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin had announced the mercenary group will retreat from Bakhmut if it doesn't receive critical ammunition supplies. Standing in front of his armed men, he claimed the Russian Ministry of Defense had created an artificial ammunition deficit, despite stocks being available in warehouses. So our losses were much higher than they should have been, he added. Ukrainian defenders recalled this. The Ukrainian defenders also pretend to ask for just two tanks as reinforcements. Meanwhile, the Russian Ministry of Defense has urgently begun to form a new Kursk battalion. The news was shared on social media pages by mothers of conscripts from military unit 34667. Moreover, the new battalion began to be formed on August the 3rd, three days before the Ukrainian armed forces broke through the border. Parents of conscripts are calling for an end to sending their children to combat zones because they have not yet completed the required four-month young fighter courses. At the same time, the soldiers' mothers petitioned Putin to recall from Kursk those who were called up to the ranks of the Russian armed forces in 2023 to 2024. And one of the wives of a Russian armed forces prisoner of war went on a solo picket to the Russian Defense Ministry building in Moscow. She demanded that her husband be exchanged for one of the captured Azov soldiers. Earlier, we reported that the Ukrainian Armed Forces Aviation carried out strikes against military facilities of the enemy army in the territory of Tetkino in the Kursk region. Let us recall that the Kremlin urgently began to transfer to the Kursk region not only reserves from the south of Ukraine, but also from Kaliningrad. The rapid advance of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region came as a surprise not only to Russia and outside observers, but even to the Ukrainian soldiers who took part in the operation. This was reported to the Financial Times by soldiers who returned from a mission on Russian territory. A soldier from the 82nd Airborne Assault Brigade named Vladimir admitted that he had a lot of adrenaline in his blood as he prepared to enter Russian territory. However, it became clear almost immediately that his worries were exaggerated. We first entered Russian territory on August the 6th. We were among the first to enter, Vladimir says. To his surprise, the unit encountered no resistance when their 20-ton striker burst across the border in broad daylight. They soon encountered their first Russian unit. The Russians were sitting in the woods drinking coffee at a table. Then our striker drove right into their table. We killed many of them on the first day. Because they were unarmed and did not expect us, the fighter recalls. Not wanting to end up like their comrades, dozens of stunned Russian soldiers simply laid down their arms and surrendered. Over the next six days, the fear felt by many thousands of Ukrainian troops involved in this daring operation gave way to excitement. They advanced rapidly, 5 to 10 kilometers a day, capturing several villages, part of a railway line and a key gas transit point. They began to hastily dig in and prepare for the arrival of Russian reinforcements. But to their surprise, Russian troops did not show up, at least not in the numbers the Ukrainians expected. The Russians concentrated primarily on bombing with guided bombs from planes and using kamikaze drones. This caused some losses to the Ukrainians but did not stop the offensive. It was a bit difficult at first, but then it got easier, says Roman, another soldier from Vladimir's unit. Denis, a driver of a US-supplied Humvee, said the fighting in Kursk felt very different than in Donetsk. It's much harder to fight in defensive positions. The enemy knows everything about us there. They know where we are. Their drones see our every move. Here, we had the element of surprise. But we were also surprised that they were so surprised by our attack, he said. The Ukrainians said that overall, the operation is progressing as they had hoped. In less than a week, they have managed to penetrate more than 30 kilometers into Russian territory. Russia has so far failed to stop their advance, military officials say. Many of the Russian reinforcements have been captured or killed. For example, one Russian convoy was destroyed by missiles from a HIMARS launcher. According to Financial Times calculations, units from at least six Ukrainian brigades are taking part in the fighting on the Kursk front. At least some of them had to be withdrawn from other areas of the front to do so. For example, paratroopers from the 82nd Brigade were redeployed to Sumy Oblast from neighboring Kharkiv Oblast, where they had held off Russian troops who launched their own cross-border invasion in May.
Other troops said they were redeployed from strongholds in Donetsk Oblast, including the towns of Chasovya, New York and Turetsk. Some soldiers admitted to having doubts about the operations at first. Some said they were worried about abandoning their positions in the Donbass while the Russians were still advancing daily, threatening to occupy the region entirely. The already mentioned soldier Denis was worried that the operation in the Kursk region could cost Ukraine some cities in the Donetsk region. New York will be captured 100%. This could happen even tomorrow. These cities are already lost. They are ours only on the map. The Russians destroyed them, Denis said.